China has just crossed a line that many thought was impossible. Huawei's Harmony OS has officially replaced both Android and Windows across millions of devices in China, from smartphones and tablets to laptops and even smart cars. This isn't just another software update. It's a historic shift that threatens the dominance of Google and Microsoft. While the West was busy debating tariffs and trade wars, China quietly built its own digital empire, and now it's ready to break free. The question is, what does this mean for the global tech market? And are we witnessing the end of US tech dominance? When we talk about operating systems, two names usually dominate the conversation, Google's Android and Microsoft's Windows. For years, these platforms were considered unshakable pillars of global technology. But history has shown that monopolies never last forever. And in China, that breaking point came in 2019 when Huawei was suddenly cut off from Google services due to US sanctions. Overnight, one of the world's largest smartphone manufacturers was forced to reimagine its entire future. Out of this crisis, Harmony OS was born. At first, many observers dismissed it as nothing more than a customized version of Android, a stopgap solution to keep Huawei afloat. But as the years went by, it became clear that Harmony OS was much more ambitious. Huawei wasn't just creating a substitute, it was building an entire digital ecosystem independent of Silicon Valley. The foundations of Harmony OS are fundamentally different from Android. While Android was designed primarily for smartphones, Harmony OS was built with versatility in mind. It's not just a mobile system, it's a unified platform that can run across smartphones, tablets, smart TVs, wearable devices, laptops, and even cars. In other words, Huawei aimed for what Google and Microsoft only dreamed of, true cross-device integration. Another key difference is the role of artificial intelligence. Harmony OS is deeply integrated with Huawei's AI capabilities, making devices smarter, faster, and more adaptive. Instead of treating AI as a feature, Huawei made it a core component of the operating system. This means Harmony OS isn't just competing with Android and Windows on familiar ground. It's positioning itself as the backbone of the intelligent era of technology. And let's not forget the political dimension. For China, Harmony OS isn't just about convenience or innovation, it's about sovereignty. By creating its own operating system, China reduces its dependence on US tech giants and gains control over its digital future. That's why Harmony OS received massive support from the Chinese government and industry partners, ensuring rapid adoption. What started as a defensive move against US sanctions has now evolved into a bold offensive. Harmony OS is no longer just Huawei's survival strategy, it has become China's flagship technology project. And as we'll see next, this strategy has led to one of the largest shifts in the global software landscape in decades. What makes Harmony OS different from so many alternative operating systems that failed in the past is one powerful factor, scale. China isn't just adopting Harmony OS quietly. It's pushing a nationwide transition that touches everything from smartphones to government computers. And this is where the story gets much bigger than Huawei. On the consumer side, Huawei devices are already pre-loaded with Harmony OS, but it doesn't stop there. Other Chinese brands, including Honor and some domestic manufacturers, have begun testing Harmony OS as an option. Instead of fighting against it, companies are realizing that the system offers smoother cross-device connections, especially for users who live in Huawei's ecosystem of phones, laptops, wearables, and smart home devices. For many Chinese consumers, it feels like a natural upgrade rather than a replacement. The Chinese government has played a decisive role. Over the past two years, state policies have encouraged public institutions and major corporations to reduce reliance on US technology. This means Windows computers in government offices and schools are gradually being phased out in favor of Harmony OS Next, the PC version of Huawei's system. For everyday users, this shift may feel subtle, but in strategic terms, it's monumental. Imagine tens of millions of devices once powered by Windows and Android, now replaced with a fully domestic platform. Huawei has also gained a strong advantage by targeting the integration of work and life. For example, a user can start drafting a document on a Harmony OS laptop, continue editing it on a smartphone, and share it instantly with a Harmony OS powered tablet, without any complicated syncing or cloud services. In contrast, Android and Windows often feel fragmented, relying on third-party apps to bridge the gap. Perhaps the most surprising part is how quickly adoption is spreading. 
Reports from within China suggest that hundreds of millions of devices are now running Harmony OS. In fact, by some counts, Harmony OS has already overtaken Apple's iOS and market share within China's smartphone sector, making it the second largest operating system in the country after Android. This massive shift is not just about patriotism or politics. For many users, Harmony OS genuinely performs better in areas like battery life, speed, and multi-device connectivity. Combined with government support, that makes the transition almost inevitable. And this is only the beginning. Because once Harmony OS is fully entrenched in smartphones and PCs, Huawei's bigger plan is to turn it into the digital backbone of China's economy. If Part 2 showed us how Harmony OS spread across China, Part 3 reveals why it's becoming unstoppable. The power of the Huawei ecosystem. Unlike Android or Windows, which often feel like separate worlds stitched together, Harmony OS was designed from the start to function as a single, seamless, digital environment. At the center of this ecosystem are Huawei's smartphones, which serve as the hub for everything else. But what makes Harmony OS unique is that it isn't limited to phones. Harmony OS powers tablets, smartwatches, laptops, smart TVs, and even cars. Yes, entire vehicles, such as models from Ceres and other Chinese automakers, now run on Harmony OS, offering drivers a deeply integrated experience with their other Huawei devices. This level of cross-device synergy is something that Google and Microsoft tried to achieve but never fully realized. Think about it. Android dominates smartphones, Windows dominates PCs, but the handoff between them has always been clunky. Apple comes close with iOS and macOS integration, but even there, the ecosystem is restricted to Apple's relatively expensive hardware. Huawei, on the other hand, has positioned Harmony OS as the glue for an entire range of consumer and industrial devices, many of them far more affordable. A practical example, a user can take a photo on their Huawei phone, instantly edit it on a Harmony OS laptop, and display it on a Harmony OS-powered TV, all with a single tap. No third-party apps, no extra cables, no manual syncing. The devices recognize each other as part of the same super system. That's the kind of convenience that locks people into an ecosystem because once you experience it, it's hard to go back. Harmony OS also extends into the Internet of Things, IoT. Home appliances like refrigerators, speakers, and washing machines are being launched with Harmony OS integration. For Chinese households, this means one ecosystem can manage the entire smart home. For Huawei, it means creating a digital lifestyle that's sticky. Once you adopt Harmony OS for one device, you're encouraged to adopt it for all. And then comes the AI factor. Huawei has embedded its artificial intelligence framework deeply into Harmony OS, allowing devices to learn user habits, optimize performance, and anticipate needs. This isn't just about faster apps, it's about creating an intelligent environment that feels more responsive than Android or Windows ever could. The result? Harmony OS is no longer just an operating system. It's an ecosystem strategy, one that could cement Huawei as the leader in China's digital future and maybe even challenge the West on a global scale. The rise of Harmony OS is not just a story about technology. It's a story about disruption. For decades, the global software landscape has been dominated by two American giants, Google with Android and Microsoft with Windows. Their operating systems have been the gatekeepers of billions of devices, generating trillions of dollars in economic value. But with China's mass adoption of Harmony OS, that dominance is being challenged in a way neither company expected. Let's start with Google. Android has long relied on China as a key market not just for smartphones, but for app revenue through Google Play. When Huawei and other Chinese firms were forced to abandon Android, Google didn't just lose one company, it lost access to the entire Chinese ecosystem. Instead of being locked into Google's services, hundreds of millions of users are now in Huawei's app gallery, which is growing rapidly and keeping revenue inside China. That means Google is missing out on billions of dollars every single year. Then there's Microsoft. Windows has been the backbone of China's government offices, schools, and businesses for decades. But with Harmony OS Next now positioned as a full PC operating system, Beijing has started to phase out Windows machines in favor of local alternatives. For Microsoft, 
This is more than just a business loss. It's a geopolitical setback. Losing access to a market of over 1.4 billion people doesn't just hurt profits, it undermines the company's global influence. Even Apple is watching nervously. While iOS remains strong in China's premium smartphone segment, Harmony OS has already surpassed Apple in market share overall. If Chinese consumers continue embracing homegrown technology, Apple could find its long-term position in China, its second largest market, slipping. And it's not just the software giants at risk. Harmony OS represents a step toward technological sovereignty for China, which could reduce reliance on US hardware too. Companies like Intel and Nvidia, which once relied on Chinese demand, could see their role diminished as China builds self-sufficient ecosystems powered by local chips and operating systems. In short, Harmony OS is more than a competitor. It's a signal to the West that the era of uncontested American dominance in software is over. Google and Microsoft once seemed untouchable, but in China, they've already been replaced, and the ripple effects are beginning to reach the rest of the world. Harmony OS is no longer just Huawei's answer to US sanctions, it has become the foundation of China's digital independence. By replacing both Android and Windows across millions of devices, Huawei has proven that the world doesn't have to rely solely on American technology. For China, this is more than a software update. It's a statement of sovereignty. But what does this mean for the rest of the world? In the short term, Google and Microsoft lose billions in revenue and influence within the Chinese market. In the long term, we may see a fragmented global tech landscape one dominated by U.S. systems in the West, and another shaped by Harmony OS and Chinese innovations in Asia and beyond. Investors and tech enthusiasts should pay close attention. What started as a defensive move has grown into a strategic offensive, and if Harmony OS expands internationally, it could challenge the very foundations of global tech power. So the big question is this, are we witnessing the beginning of a post-Windows, post-Android world? One where Harmony OS becomes not just China's system but a global competitor? If you want to stay ahead of these historic shifts in technology, make sure to subscribe because this story is only just beginning.